Welcome back to Thomas Tips. Today we're exploring Resi AI, a tool designed to help you create and optimize CVs. So let's dive in. Resi AI offers both free and paid plans. With the free version you can create CVs, while the paid version also allows you to generate cover letters and resignation letters. Let's choose the CV option. Resi gives us four ways to start. You can start from scratch, you can import from LinkedIn, upload an existing resume or target resume. For this tutorial, we'll create the resume from scratch. Once you have named your CV and added your experience level, you're ready to start adding uh, info. The interface lets you add information under the sections like contact, experience, education, skills, summary, projects, certification, coursework and involvement. Simply enter your information and the resi will automatically format your resume. On the finish up page you can also add keywords related to the job you are applying for to make your CV stand out. To save time I have pre-filled some sections so let's see how resi can enhance our CV. When adding work experience resi can help generate bullet points based on your job title. These bullet points highlight measurable achievements to make your CV more compelling. On the left side, Resi provides real-time suggestions to improve your experience section. It could suggest you to add more bullet points, add punctuation to look more professional or to make the bullet points shorter. Note that the AI generated bullet points may not reflect truth as Resi is trying to add points that could help you stand out. Each AI generated bullet point uses one token and three users get uh, 10 tokens in total. And always make sure to click save to experience list to avoid losing the process. I have pre-filled the education part, so let's move forward to the skills tab. This is where Resi can be really helpful. Resi lets you choose skills based on categories such as language, soft, hard and technical skills. Choose the category such as language, add a keyword and the AI will start suggesting a different skills. If you're looking to apply for a certain job opening, make sure to include skills that are important for the role. The categories will be separated in the CV, so it's easier for the recruiter to get an overview of her language, soft, hard and technical skills. Always make sure to choose add new skill when you're adding a new category. The tool may mess up the formatting, so it may take a little more manual work to get everything sorted, but the end result will look much better afterwards. Now that we have filled in contact info, experience, education and skills, we can move forward with the summary part. For this part you can use the help of AI. Note that this will cost you one token. Resi AI will let you customize the summary by adding specific keywords related to your job application. When creating with AI, the profile summary is generated based on your experience, education, skills and skills highlights. Add the specific skills you want to highlight, click on AI right and it will generate a well tailored summary for your CV. If you are not happy with the summary, you can either rewrite it or simply manually edit it. Let's save the summary and move to the finish up and preview page. On this page you'll see a preview of your CV along with the Resi score which rates your resume. Click on explore my Resi score to see the detailed improvement suggestions. It will break down your resume based on the content, format, optimizations, best practice and application ready. Each of these improvement fields will show suggestions how to improve the CV and the Resi score. For example, under the content we can see that your resume has one experience with an incorrect number of bullet points. Let's see what can be done to improve this. I have used the AI to generate another bullet point. Now we have three bullet points. Let's go back to the finish up and the review page and see what changed. Now we can see that our Resi score has improved. By following these steps shown under the improvements, you can improve the overall look and the content of the CV by leaps. Now that the AI stated that our resume is too short, I will click on auto adjust and it will make sure to fill some of the gaps so that the CV would cover a bigger part of the page. 
Alternatively, you can always add another experience, course, or uh, other thing to fill in the free space. By clicking on the auto adjust, my RISI score has gone up from 76 to 80. One side of the free plan is that you won't see all the improvements and recommendations, but it's still rather easy to boost the RISI score over 90%. On the finish up and preview page, RISI can help you to further enhance the CV by adding tailored keywords to your CV. This is useful if you have a job opening in mind. Simply enter the job title and description and they will suggest you keywords to add to your resume. Simply click on add bullet point and it will give an extra touch to your experience. Now that everything is finished, simply click on download CV and you're ready. Note that on the free plan only three downloads are available. Like I mentioned earlier, you can also create your CV based on your LinkedIn information or available CV. This will save you a lot of time from adding all the information manually. Overall, RES is a really helpful tool to let you generate professional looking CVs with low effort. Personally, I would love to see more available templates. There are more templates in the paid version, but they still look not what I was looking for. This was my guide on how to use Resi AI to create professional looking CVs. Thank you for watching and if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.